Okay, no one is going to argue that the new map is absolutely gorgeous and true to the Resident Evil franchise. Give the art team a raise, right? Unfortunately for Dead by Daylight gameplay, the Raccoon City Police Department is a Leary's Memorial remake with tighter corridors, fewer pathing options, more dead ends, and none of the lessons the devs should have learned about maps over the past five years. Space Coconut Leary's Memorial is a very long indoor map, but it's very easy to get from one end to the other because many of the hallways will cover most if not all of the distance between the ends. The rooms that fill the space are all relatively open and have many options for pathing to and from various angles of approach. The most convoluted area in Leary's is the office area, with a tight hallway and a few vaults that lead into the more open map. Imagine if all of Leary's was made up of those office tiles, and you have the new RCPD map. Once upon a time, the devs figured out that large maps weren't fun to play on, so they made them smaller and readjusted some of the more frustrating tiles. We're currently seeing some of these changes take place with all of the graphical updates that the maps are receiving right now. So it makes complete sense that the devs would take all of those things that players hated in old maps and put them into the new map. The problem here is that it's a licensed map. The option to change the Resident Evil map is probably very limited because the license holders may not allow behavior to change the map. As it stands now, the primary goal for the map was to keep it as true to the original as possible, which might have been a part of the deal with Capcom, while the actual gameplay of the map was a clearly a distant second thought. Midwitch isn't a great map functionally, but players managed to adjust after learning the layout a bit. The same is probably true for the RCPD, but knowing the map layout won't make it enjoyable. I mean, Rotten Fields is almost completely open and players, killers, hated that map. Many new players don't know how big the Pale Rose was before it was made smaller. But to get an idea, the devs never adjusted the gen spawns by much, which is why you see the hatch and gen spawn right next to the wall at some points, unlike every other map in the game. Only time will tell what the devs do in the future, but right now we as players can only start learning the map as it is, because I am very confident that the RCPD map will not be changed in the future. If it is. The devs will probably just make more doors and paths through the map to make it easier to navigate from one end to the other, much like Leary's Memorial. On the graphical lore side of things, I think it's interesting that they decided to decorate the map for the Halloween event five months early. The devs will probably start doing this with all of the maps to highlight the entity's influence on other realms as they're added to the game. I don't particularly like it because they haven't done that with any of the other maps, even after they've gotten their graphical updates. I'm an all or nothing kind of coconut, so I'd like to see them on every map or none of them. Let me know what you think of the map in the comments and do all the YouTube things so this channel grows like an undying plague in the Dead by Daylight community, because soon I might actually be doing this full time. I'll talk about the perks in the next video, so in the meantime, I'm Space Coconut and you're welcome. <laughs>